What if I told you that just 40 light years away, practically in our cosmic backyard, scientists have discovered a system that could change everything we know about life in the universe. The TRAPPIST-1 system has been called Earth's Seven Sisters, a collection of planets where ongoing observations keep revealing increasingly Earth-like conditions. Recent data from the James Webb Space Telescope suggests something truly remarkable about these worlds. Today, we're going to explore what scientists are discovering, what they're still debating, and why this nearby planetary system has astronomers both excited and puzzled. Welcome to Space Enigmas, where we explore the most fascinating mysteries of our universe. I'm your guide through today's journey to one of the most intriguing planetary systems ever discovered, the TRAPPIST. One system has captured the imagination of astronomers since its discovery in 2016. But what makes this system so special? Why are scientists around the world focusing so much attention on these distant worlds? And most importantly, what are the latest scientific observations actually telling us about these planets? Let's start with what we know for certain. TRAPPIST-1 is a star system located approximately 40 light years from Earth in the constellation Aquarius. The star at its center is what astronomers call an ultra-cool red dwarf significantly smaller and cooler than our sun. What makes this system remarkable are the seven planets orbiting this tiny star. All seven are roughly Earth-sized rocky worlds, not gas giants like Jupiter or Saturn. And here's where things get interesting. Three of these planets orbit in what scientists call the habitable zone, the region around a star where temperatures might allow liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. These planets are named simply TRAPPIST-1b through TRAPPIST-1h, with planets E, F, and G sitting squarely in that habitable zone. They're also extremely close together, so close that if you were standing on one planet's surface, the neighboring planets would appear larger in the sky than our moon appears from Earth. Another fascinating confirmed fact, these planets are tidally locked to their star, meaning one side always faces the star perpetual day, while the other side faces away, perpetual night. This creates permanent day-side and night-side hemispheres with dramatically different conditions. In 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope began observing the TRAPPIST-1 system as one of its priority targets. Using its advanced infrared instruments, Webb has been able to analyze these distant worlds in unprecedented detail though it's important to note that many of the findings are still preliminary and being carefully analysed by the scientific community. One of the most significant confirmed discoveries is that most of these planets likely have atmospheres. Webb has detected spectral signatures consistent with atmospheric absorption when studying these planets. However, the exact composition of these atmospheres remains under investigation. What makes these observations challenging is that the planets are very close to their star, and the star itself is quite active with frequent flares and stellar activity. This requires scientists to carefully separate stellar effects from planetary signals, which is why many findings remain preliminary. Scientists are particularly interested in TRAPPIST-1e, which appears to be the most Earth-like of the bunch, based on its size, density, and position in the habitable zone. Computer models suggest it could maintain surface temperatures suitable for liquid water, under a range of atmospheric conditions. Perhaps the most exciting aspect of TRAPPIST-1 research involves the search for water. Preliminary spectroscopic data from Webb has shown absorption features that could be consistent with water vapor in the atmospheres of multiple planets in the system. It's important to understand that these observations don't definitively prove liquid oceans exist on these worlds. Rather, scientists are detecting water vapor in the planet's atmospheres, which serves as an important clue. Computer modeling of these planets suggests they could contain significant amounts of water possibly up to 5% of their mass, 
For comparison, Earth's water makes up only about 0.02% of its mass. If these models are correct, some of these planets might be water worlds, with global oceans much deeper than those on Earth. The presence of water is particularly intriguing for TRAPPIST-1, E, F, and G, the habitable zone planets. Theoretical models suggest these planets could potentially maintain conditions where water moves through phases similar to Earth's water cycle, from liquid to vapor, and back again. However, I should emphasize that direct confirmation of liquid water oceans remains beyond our current observational capabilities. These conclusions are based on sophisticated computer models and indirect measurements, not direct imaging of oceans. Now let's address perhaps the most exciting question. Could these planets harbor life? At this point, no confirmed biosignatures, chemical signs of life, have been detected in the TRAPPIST-1 system. However, astronomers are developing methods to search for them in the future. Scientists are particularly interested in detecting gases like methane and oxygen in combination, as this could potentially indicate biological activity. On Earth, these gases would quickly react and disappear from our atmosphere if not constantly replenished by biological processes. The James Webb Telescope is capable of detecting some potential biosignatures, but such observations are extremely challenging and require multiple confirmations to rule out biological explanations. Scientists are currently refining their methods and gathering more data before making any claims about potential signs of life. What makes the TRAPPIST-1 system so valuable is that it offers seven opportunities to study potentially habitable worlds around a single star. This allows scientists to compare planets under similar conditions, but with different parameters, creating a natural laboratory for understanding habitability. Another fascinating aspect of TRAPPIST-1 research involves radio astronomy. Several radio telescopes, including the Allen Telescope Array and the Green Bank Telescope, have observed the TRAPPIST-1 system. These observations primarily focus on understanding the star's activity and potential interactions between the planets and the star's magnetic field. Such interactions could generate radio emissions similar to those produced between Jupiter and its moon Io in our own solar system. Scientists have detected some interesting radio emissions from the direction of TRAPPIST-1, but these are most likely natural phenomena associated with stellar activity and magnetospheric interactions. It's important to note that no artificial signals or transmissions have been detected from the system. Radio observations continue to be valuable for understanding the radiation environment these planets experience, which has significant implications for their habitability and potential atmospheric evolution over time. The TRAPPIST-1 system represents one of astronomy's most tantalizing discoveries. Here's what we know with certainty. Seven Earth-sized rocky planets orbit a small red dwarf star just 40 light years away. Several of these planets receive amounts of starlight similar to what Earth receives from our Sun. Preliminary data suggests these planets have atmospheres and at least some of them may contain significant amounts of water. What remains unknown or hypothetical is equally fascinating. Whether any of these planets have conditions truly similar to Earth, whether liquid water exists on their surfaces, whether any of them harbor life or the building blocks of life. As Webb continues its observations and future telescopes join the search, we're entering an unprecedented era of exoplanet research. Each new data point brings us closer to answering one of humanity's most profound questions. Are we alone in the universe? The TRAPPIST-1 system doesn't yet provide a definitive answer, but it gives us seven nearby worlds where we can continue our search, each one a potential mirror to our own planet, each one a possible home to other forms of life. If you found this exploration of TRAPPIST-1 fascinating, 
make sure to like this video and subscribe to Space Enigmas for more journeys through the cosmos. In our next video, we'll be exploring what's really hidden under Europa's ice, another promising location in our search for extraterrestrial life, but this time much closer to home in our own solar system. Have you ever wondered what kinds of life might evolve on privately locked planets like those in the Trappist-1 system? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep looking up. The universe is full of enigmas waiting to be solved.